the first speaker of the meeting, Toastmaster Pragya. Mamam, I love you, Mamam. Mamam, I'm crying, see my tears. Mamam, I'm angry with you. Mamam, thank you, I'm so happy. What I just did was some of the emotions my daughter showers at me almost on daily basis. I think parents out there can relate to this. How simple child's emotions are. If you monitor closely, you will find that there is a learning hidden in these emotions. Can you guess what those learnings are? Anyone of you? Epic simple Epic ah, simplicity, like child, be expressive and be less complicated. A child reciprocate love. When he's happy, he express anger when he's not happy, but he will make sure that he's angry, right? So good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Good evening. Good evening. As a human, when we grow, our emotions get more and more complex. Ego, anxiety, disgust, being suspicious, all these complexities gets added in a human nature and it does not remain as simple as a child's emotions. How many of you are parents here? Okay, so this is the tricky one. How many of you know the correct way of parenting? No one, right? <laughs> so all of you agree that this is a tough subject to master. Okay. So, in a serious note, uh, I feel that parenting is a two-way process. You not only teach your children uh, your life's lessons, but also end up learning some of the most important life's lessons. I learned, in fact, relearned few of the most important life's lessons from someone whom I least expected teach me anything. And my teacher was my own three and a half year old old daughter. And this was one of the learning to be simple, less complex and be expressive. Many of times issues get elevated just because you did not express your feelings and you did not communicate. And once you do that, trust me, Half of your problems will get vanished like this. And if uh, you have not spoken to any of your friends because of your anger and your ego is coming in between, so I suggest you, you should go and initiate the talk. And you should sort out the issues and you will feel relaxed. If you have not expressed your loves for your loved ones i suggest you just do go and do it and trust me it makes a lot of difference my second learning came in a very unusual way one evening i was doing some bank work on a laptop <coughs> in my old laptop and uh, which i hardly open since uh, mobile phones have come to my life so when I was working on the laptop, my daughter came running and um, that laptop has one of my old images saved as a wallpaper. When she came, she stopped and stared at the wallpaper. Then she looked at me and said, Mama, is that you? I said, yes. And then she said, but you are looking so beautiful. <laughs> Instead of being happy, I got furious and said, Do I not look beautiful now? For that, she said, No. <laughs> Which made me even more furious. And I asked, Why do you think so? And then 
and she said, Mama, you are smiling in this picture. And when a person smiles, he or she looks beautiful. And you hardly smile now. I was perplexed by hearing these deep words from such a tiny soul. We, uh, in our life, has become so much mechanical that we search for a big reason to smile or laugh. When was the last time you laughed like a child? You don't even remember, right? Probably when you were a child itself. I feel that we search for a big reason to smile and we miss out for small happiness packets. I call it happiness packets because I feel that happiness is spread around us in terms of, in form of small, small packets. And what we need to do is, we need to collect those and decorate that in the shelf called life and make that look beautiful. I am thankful to my little teacher to teach me such precious life lessons and rejuvenate our lives. So true it is that kids are the purest form of human soul. They are the angels sent by God to teach us the lessons which we have forgotten in the process of growing up. What do you think came out of this?